Hey guys, so $2 million of cards were allegedly stolen from the Dallas Card Show. So as many of you guys may know, the Dallas Card Show is one of the larger card shows in the U.S. It is a monthly or bi-monthly, you know, every other month event where people do sell a lot of sports cards. Now, this individual has said a, a $70,000 reward for the return or information leading to the return of the cards that were stolen. There were two individuals. One of them was acting as a distraction while the other one would steal it. So there is many images. I believe the Dallas card show themselves got a lot of nice images from their security. Uh, there's the guy in the boss with the boss t-shirt and then the guy in the polo with the number three on the sleeve. This is pretty, pretty interesting. I have owned a card shop for seven years now. And I can tell you that yes, people do steal and they try to steal and then they'll drive around and sell it to the next card shop over. $2 million is a lot of money. That being said, the Dallas Card Shop show probably has $200 million worth of cards at any given time especially with trade night and so on. People should be very careful. Uh, cards are very liquid and they do attract a lot of criminals. Man many criminals, uh, they cannot become lawyers or doctors or you know, if you have a felony, it's really hard for you to be a professional. But if you want to be a card flipper, yeah, go ahead. I think this type of hobby does attract more criminals than other types of hobby because there is easy money, which includes straight up just stealing. So this $2 million theft isn't something new. There was actually a $2 million theft just recently at around the same time for the same amount of money. Pretty, you know, mag magic cards, Pokemon cards, sports cards, they all have a ton of value. And people love, love, love to steal, love to do crimes. This is definitely one of the situations where I can honestly say I'm not shocked to see this. Uh, the amount is quite large in my opinion. But overall, I mean, people steal all the time. I've had opponents steal from me when, you know, there's some cards and Magic the Gathering, which allow you to steal or people's cards. I don't know why they make them anymore. I really think that they should stop making those type of cards, in my opinion. You know, you, you guys like grinning, grinning totem and things of that nature. Uh, I think they should, you know, stop making those cards because they do lead to a disaster, right? Or the potential that once the game is over, oh, the guy forgot to give you back his card. Wow, what, you know, um, amazing, right? Like, how could he do that? So I, I do think overall it is kind of a disaster when you have a card game or you have a situation where you allow people to steal. But luckily here they have cameras. Uh, it's even been mentioned that maybe because there are a lot of people shooting content. In fact, I would guess i'm just gonna go ahead and make a random guess here that there are more people shooting content than than actual vendors like there's more youtuber or content creators whatever you want to call them doing that than the people actually selling cards which might seem kind of weird but it is what it is right so when you talk about a, a circumstance where you have the opportunity and you have so much value and it is liquid, uh, cards are extremely liquid, you might get something like this. It's unfortunate, but it does have, a, it um, absolutely attracts a lot of criminals. There are a lot, a lot of criminals, guys, in the card market. There's a lot, and I'm not saying, oh, they're criminals, because I think, no, they actually have felonies. They've been to jail before. I remember the story about, about the Black Lotus, and the guy sells, this was before eBay authentication, probably one of the reasons they have that. He made a bunch of YouTube videos, so he goes ahead and he sells a Black Lotus online. 
It turns out the buyer, which he has no control over, is a Nazi. Now the Nazi receives a real card, and then he says, oh, I received a fake card. And then he had vintage magic. Daniel Chan confirmed on his channel that it was indeed fake. And that's when he started making his video series, because not only did the Nazi steal his real Black Lotus and then ask for the refund from eBay, so he got the Black Lotus and the refund, the Nazi also got the Nala Asian American to say that it's fake and then attack the credibility of that. And he was still trying to sell more cards. So they were attacking the credibility. So if he let Daniel Chang and the Nazi get away with it, they would just say, oh, this guy's selling fake cards, be aware. So not only would he lose his Black Lotus, which is bad enough, he had multiple other really expensive sales as well for like Misha's workshops and, you know, not, I mean, Black Lotus is a Black Lotus, right? That's, that's the, uh, what can you do, right? That's, that's the end all be all when it comes to collectability. But anyway, um, pretty, pretty interesting stuff in my opinion and definitely something that, it's curious. It is curious. Uh, it is something that I think about and I say, wow, that's, that's pretty messed up. $2 million, right? $2 million. Now they did identify them, but are the cards out of the country? You know, what are the circumstances around the cards? Who knows? Did they already have a buyer lined up? Like these cards are just crazy liquid guys. They are very, very liquid. And I don't think that uh, he will have too much trouble, especially when they give a quote discount, right? You know what I mean? They give that discounted price. Um, I don't think they will have that much of a trouble moving a card like this. I mean, it's a Mickey Mantle. I hate to say it, but you know, good luck. $70,000 is a chunk of money. And I do hope that they are able to uh, find the two people because they should go to jail. Again, uh, cards, they steal cards all the time. You know, like, what can I say? People steal cards all the mother effing time at locals, at every... It just attracts criminals, right? It, I don't know what it is about cards, maybe the liquidity, but I know a lot of people who are criminals, and they just flip cards all the time. And, you know, I... It's like, you know, you used to come to my card shop. I can't never buy any of their stuff because I don't want to deal with it. If you buy stolen goods, then you have to actually refund the full price to the customer. And you're on the hook. The criminal actually gets off. I mean, maybe they go to jail, which is not great for them. But they'd get off from paying because you, the store owner, have to pay. Which is your punishment, right? And rightfully so, right? Because you bought stolen goods from a person you probably knew was a criminal. Anyway, hi guys.